Hi everyone, today I'm covering 10 stocks to watch this week. These are going to be 10 interesting stocks that are reporting earnings and I'll talk you through these stocks and why I think they're really interesting stocks to be watching this week. And as always, smash that like button guys. The support has been absolutely amazing. We've hit about 800 new subscribers this month, which has been fantastic. So thank you so much for that little support that we've got going on right now and hopefully we can carry that going forward. But let's get stuck into the 10 stocks to watch this week. So number one is Boeing, which is a company I own. This will be really interesting because obviously we've got the Max 8 and we've also got a lot of cancellations starting to kick in for Boeing. I think that for this one, I really like this because it's now a third of the price that it was only a few months ago. And the one benefit it has is that it's only got one pet competitor, which is Airbus. So when people ask me, why do I, don't I get into like aeroplane companies like Southwest, like Delta? It's because I like being in the manufacturing industry because there's only two really players in there compared to the aeroplane market where there's, you know, in the air travel, there's just so much competition and they kind of have to cut down on the prices so they're the cheapest one out there. With Boeing and Airbus, it's quite easy for them to keep the prices quite high because there's such a demand for them because of them being the only two playing manufacturers out there so i love boeing and i think at these sort of prices i could see the stock going up 200 percent 300 percent in the next two to five years and boeing are reporting earnings on wednesday on the open so i'll be checking them out next up is tesla tesla are reporting earnings on wednesday they also have a battery event as well and it'll be interesting to see how tesla managed a lot of the demand over the kind of the last few weeks and with the factories being shut and how many deliveries they do so it'll be interesting to see how tesla does it overall it's a company that i used to own i sold out at a 250 percent profit but if tesla does go below maybe the 400 dollar mark that's probably where i'd love to get in so i'm i'm hoping on tesla to miss earnings by quite a bit. Number three is Microsoft which is a company I own. It's my biggest position in the stock market portfolio and they normally tend to smash earnings so I'm expecting something quite good for them. Same again though if Microsoft does go a little bit lower I won't mind buying some more shares in Microsoft. Number four is Facebook which is reporting earnings on Wednesday. Anything below $200 for me is a massive buy on Facebook. I love the company. A great company that's going to do well over the next two to five years. It's a company that I even consider making it's my biggest position in the portfolio over Microsoft, which is, just shows you how much I love the company. And I think that it is massively undervalued uh, previously to when the CV came out. And right now I think it's massively undervalued as well. So we'll see what happens with Facebook of their earnings on Wednesday after the close. Number five is Qualcomm, which is a company I really need to do a little bit more research into. So Qualcomm are reporting earnings after the close on Wednesday, and they've kind of come up a little bit in the stock price right now, but I'd love them to go down a little bit and buy into that company. Number six is Align, which is another company reporting earnings on Wednesday after the close. They kind of make uh, braces or clear braces, and they're a fantastic company with some great growth and also great balance sheet. They've had a little bit of competition from Smile Direct Club over kind of the last few quarters, but we'll see how they do. Um, but overall, it's a company that I think is on a little bit of a discount and is a stock that will definitely go up massive over the next few years. One of my, my growth companies in the list. Next up is McDonald's, which is a company that I really considered buying uh, not so long ago. I like McDonald's. I think it's such a strong play. It's more of a value play where you'll get a little bit of value in that stock and a little bit of that dividend as well. And as well as that, I don't think McDonald's can be that far from opening back up. So uh, they will do really well when they open back up for sure. Next up is Ultria and Ultria is a cigarette and also an e-cigarette company that I own. It's a stock that I treat as a, I think it's on a discount and the share price will go up. But as well as that, it plays a massive dividend as well. So I will be very happy to pick that dividend up. And like I said, I think they should do all right because I reckon cigarette sales, even with the coronavirus going around, will still be pretty strong. So uh, I expect a decent earnings really from them overall. Next up is Amazon and Amazon obviously always smash earnings and I think they'll post some strong earnings as well because I think a lot of people might be relying on them over the last few weeks to order a lot of stuff because they're still pretty much operating. So I reckon their earnings should be pretty decent earnings and it's a company I'd love to buy if it came down to the right valuation. And on Thursday after the close, we've also got Apple stock, which is a company that I would like to buy again. Hopefully their earnings are terrible so it's the stock goes down and I can buy them. But we'll see how they do. Uh, there's a lot of, lot of pressure around how good the actual iPhone sales are gonna be with a lot of the Apple stores having to close. but 
we'll see how they do overall anything below 220 for apple i'll definitely consider buying and i would also mention that we have got visa reporting earnings after thursday after the close and on friday there is also exxon mobile chevron and abvi which i know a few of you guys do like as well so they might be ones to also check out this week but there's some really big companies that are reporting earnings so hopefully some of them move because we haven't had that many companies move that much off earnings so far so guys those are 10 stocks to watch for the rest of the week they are definitely potential market movers depending on how the earnings go i thought i'd share that one with you guys those are some of the ones that i'll be checking out and hopefully if some of them do move quite a bit uh, i'll probably make a video about them and potentially buy some of them as well but i thought i'd cover them 10 stocks for you today guys and as always if you could smash that like button that'd be absolutely amazing Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video.